What is up guys? We are back. It has been a minute, but we've been busy getting a lot of stuff done. Um, where to even begin? We sold my truck, sold my Jeep. Then had to rush to buy a new truck. Finally found a new truck. Ran and buy a camper. Um, now we're getting ready to sell the house. So we're selling all of our stuff. Unfortunately, Dad's boat's not done yet. So we're not heading out in Dad's boat today. My daughter came up to visit for the weekend. Well, I guess for the weekdays. And Tom with Team Walleye Guys was generous enough to take us out with him today. So we're just waiting on him to get here. And we're gonna go see if we can get on some fish this morning. Stay tuned. Far over the camp. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. There you go. Okay. Well, then what you're going to do is start backing up slowly. Back to the middle of the boat. Towards the middle of the boat. All right. I lift up, okay, he's gonna reeling. take that stop off. Stop reeling. Get the wall eye. Start reeling. Nice and slow. There you go. And then that. There we go. Alright. There we go. You're on the board, kiddo. Alright, you can set the pole down. Set the pole down. Oh, you open your bail up, that black lever on the side. Flip it down. Okay, now you can shut it again. Close it. Oh, there. <laughs> this is such a fancy oh, fishing pole. right out of there. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's very big. It's a good start, though. Yeah, it's didn't take very, didn't start. take very long. It's literally been two fish, and we've been out here for less than 20 minutes. And 2.4 feet of water. Wow. There you go, guy. There you go. Oh, Start kiddo. <laughs> All right, I might have to stop filming and start fishing. Nice and slow, real slow, real slow and steady. Keep reeling. Kind of painful slow pulling them in, but you've seen all that fish popped out of the net. It popped off the hook into the net as soon as we started. We got them in there. I was just about to tell I you we had another fish happen. on. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen with it being so close like that. Being not, not being able to get them all set. I was just going to say, if we can't run six, that's not a big deal. This happened a few times yesterday where I couldn't run six boards. We didn't get six boards and we tried, but it didn't, uh, didn't pan out. So we're not even... 20 minutes into this morning, and we got nice sized white bass, a walleye, two drum, and we're attempting to get six lines back in the water. So, even though it's a massive drop in temperature, sorry, no, you're good. Um, fish have been cooperating this morning. Weird. 
I do that is so if, this, so if this is so if this is bent up like this yeah. and I have the fish up off the off the floor and that uh, hook pops out of it, it'll snap right back into your hand. But if I bring this down so there's no slack or so there's plenty of slack up there, the bait's not gonna pop up in your fingers. All the way over here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, you're good. I'll hold the rod down to the down to into the water on the right hand side, all the way down in there. Okay. That's gonna allow you to bring it all the way down. What that does there you go. What that does is allows that, that pulls that board. There's a little fish hanging on back there. Okay, now you can lift it up. Now that we're clear of that other board, now you can bring it up. <laughs> I promise you, there's walleyes in this lake. Oh, I know there are. Put some line out on it. That, move it up, bring it up, and then drop the rod right down. Now, have the drums spawned yet, or no? Uh, I believe they are right now. Okay. We're getting ready to. I don't know. I, I really don't spend a whole lot of time patterning. Yeah, I, yeah, I get. They're, it. they're really good eating fish, though. A lot of people give them a bad rap. But I take a whole bunch of them up to deer camp every year, and nobody knows the difference. Okay. Nobody knows the difference on them. It's pretty much fish after fish after fish oh, right yeah. now. Okay. I'm going cereal. Pull it over to the left a little bit. Nice and slow. Slow and steady with it. That snake? Yep. Yeah. I'll deal with that in a minute. <sighs> Nothing you can do about it. Right. Such shallow water, yep. you know, flowage like this, yep. trees and stumps. And Castle Rock's no different. Nope. Chippewa flowage, and you go up north, the turtle flamble, all the same way. Okay. That? Yeah, just in case. I didn't see what it was when it splashed. Oh, there we go. Better one. Better than the last one. Do you think there's a fish on that other one, Tom, or is that just a snag? I think that last one was just a snag. That flag's still down. That's what yeah, I was asking. Yeah, yeah. It, they'll get caught and just okay. kind of get stuck down. Gotcha. Well, that'd be a keeper. Oh, that would be a keeper for anybody. Yep. That's a good eating fish for anybody who's going to be keeping it. Yep. About 16 inches. There you go. And there's a lot of them. This year class, there's a ton of these, like 15 and a half to 17 inch fish in this system right now. It is just awesome. Here we go. Nice and easy. Those hooks, you see how the fish are popping out at the, in the net. The walleyes.
system. All winter long, I'd be fishing a lot of places. And you see massive schools of, of small sheep's head and small white bass. And it makes these fish grow really fast. There's a lot of food in this system for them. That's a beautiful fish right there. There we go. There's another fish. Oh, yeah, I'll grab that one. I'll grab that one. You gonna grab that one? Yep, I'll grab that one. Be a fish, but I think it's a snake. Real slow. 
fingers still don't even fit in those things. There's like two or three other ones. Oh, there's the fingers that fit these guys. These ones are man sized ones. <laughs> Absolutely. Rail was my first company that I worked for. Yep. Look how big you have to fish on here. Oh, there was a little fish hanging yeah. on that one. Huh. Second time? No, oh, no, that was the middle board. We never even seen that one move. Oh, you're right. This is the middle board. Yeah, that one never even moved. One. You get to hold this one. Oh no. You're not going to hold them? Oh, no. Not. I don't even take them off the hook. <laughs> very nice. It's a very good eater out here. It's about 17. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful fish. There you go. There you go. This is going to come. Nice and slow with it. Don't let the rock go, please. I think it's a catfish. Nice and easy. Right. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. A carp. You caught a carp on a, nice. on a creek bank. I've never seen that before. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Just start lift, lift your rod up. Get real a little bit. <laughs> Put some work in today, there. kiddo. I hate having this short net. Oh, so good. There we go. Nice. A carp ate that crankbait. Oh my God. Tasha, you should really hold that one. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> it just proves the, it just proved that uh, carp aren't bottom, aren't necessarily always bottom feeders. Yeah, that's in the mouth. You got a funny looking, funny looking mouth on them, too. Stop it. Stop it. I promise I'll put you back.
me off. Absolutely. Very nice. Started morning, morning trolling, and right off the bat, we were just getting bam, bam, bam. Well, I was like, there's no way we're gonna be able to run six rides today. And then uh, things kind of slowed down, but then we found the fish were still in pockets, so we were kind of passing through the pockets and picking up fish pretty much every pass. So I don't know how many fish we caught today. Um, we did fish a cold front, so yesterday to today, the temperature has changed by 40 degrees, 30 degrees, 20 degrees, I don't remember, 20 degrees. Was, so, I'm sure that had an effect, absolutely. But uh, for you guys who are wondering what we were doing, we were trolling in anywhere from two and a half to about eight feet of water. Um, number five flicker shads or shad wraps seem to be what we were using. Color, I wasn't paying too close of attention to the colors we were using. I know there was some green, um, some golds. So that's that. I do not know when I will get back out. It could be a while. Uh, I need to find two lithium batteries for Dad's boat before I can get that out. And then with the fact that we're getting ready to start selling all of our stuff, time is not on my side. But as soon as I can get out, I will. Um, yeah. So, if you stuck around this long, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like. It helps others see it. So, thanks for watching, guys.